know, back with other sort of treaties. It's been all over the place. Yeah, now they say 1933, right? Yep. Well, here we start to see some major shifting um, around this 1837 period, right? Yep. So we can kind of feel comfortable that that the real teeth of the corporation, this is the bankers, and when I say corporation, I'm meaning banking families, aka the Rothschilds and others, who have now uh, asserted their authority over the estates that they personally claim control. They may have been working for the Roman cult, but now they claim to be the controllers of the world. They've right. come out, yeah, they've come out and basically said, no, no, we're taking over. Yeah? Yep. And this is 1838. Yeah? So, and it, and it all ties in with the Sista KV acts, the three different acts, too. Yeah. Yep. So here we see with these definitions that you're talking about, that the uh, I would suspect that these definitions are corporate definitions that we're seeing that the system doesn't really the system is so automated now it doesn't really care if you say I've returned or I'm living uh, it's going to keep on carrying on because of all the presumptions yeah right it's so, uh, it's, it's perfect form over substance now it is perfect form over substance because <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a there's a scene in uh, Wizard of Oz when the dead witch is under the house, Munchkin comes out with a death certificate and says she's not merely, merely dead. She's really, really dead. So we have a, a difference between death. You could be death yes. on paper or really dead. Yeah, it's a very good point. Yep. Look, I think the thing is in all of this, when we're dealing with the fact that they've deliberately dumbed down their own people, especially in law, there's always a risk that people say, this is all great, great to hear this stuff. What you're talking about is, in a sense, completely academic because down at the real coalface, when I go to court, I can tell you that what they do is wholly different to what you say. And I just want to add one more thing, in, if you don't mind, Ron, with what you've been doing. And thank you for the research this week. Thank you and, and Greg. The important thing to remember is the corporation requires the existence of the estate. If it didn't, it would have done away with the estate long ago. Would you agree, Ron? Yes. Because it relies on the estate, no matter how much they obfuscate their rules, no matter how much they hide and, and trick, at the end of the day, if we know the core statutes, so long as those statutes are in force, we can bring them to account in their own rules. And if they break that, then we have to back up the fact that we're our own society. We're not here to sustain their system, but let's be competent in what we're doing with them. Let's be competent in how we're approaching it. Let's not be suckered in anymore. I'm sick of being suckered into the disinfo. Yeah? You don't know what suckered is. <laughs> Ron, thank you for everything you're doing. Talk okay. to you again. I'll call okay. back. Bye. Okay. Yes, Ron's done some great work, and many of you are doing great work. So I appreciate everything you're doing. And again, I said this last week, I say it every week. This is a model. This is an open source model. This is not one man's work. This is not a few people's work. This is about building something that all of us can benefit from. And if there's something wrong, we'll fix it. It's not about claiming that we never make mistakes. It's just something that we've learnt and it's different. We'll fix it. There's a question here from Guest 15 before we go to the next caller. Guest 15 says, will there be a UK in Mint to print and, and, and or coin money? Yes, the, the answer is absolutely. But I would qualify and say, and Micros40 says this, um, we make clear that metals such as gold, palladium and silver cannot be used uh, in any form in relation to money and value and that is because they particularly gold has been used to destroy to curse to disenfranchise the world for far too long and it currently is the tool the precious the beloved of these banking families 
and it is time to end the madness of gold. Let's go to the next caller and then we'll keep going through the uh, questions you have. And if you want to speak, please just press star 8, hash 8 and get into the queue and love to hear from you. Uh, we're going to get uh, East Pennsylvania back on in a sec. If we can just unmute him one sec. Let's see if we can unmute. Just a bit slow on the the old... Uh, just have to hold on a sec, East Pennsylvania. I'm just seeing if it is going to uh, unmute. If it freezes on me, I'll have to come back in uh, one sec. Let me refresh the page. Uh, while I'm waiting, Guest 20 has uh, raised a question um, and it was that uh, they tried to put in a deed in, uh, with a county recorder and the county recorder uh, only accepted it once the word deed and other elements were whited out. Look, I, I think we need to be far better uh, armed and uh, uh, prepared when we go into their offices. We need to have the clear statutes of their um, area. We need to um, have the um, uh, clear uh, knowledge um, that they need to hold to. We need to know the penalties that if they don't do their job. Uh, and we need to make clear that it's for the public record. And all I'd say to you, I guess, Renny, is I don't think we have any of those things fully ready yet. So when you go in, it's very difficult when you come up with someone and they simply say, no, we won't do that. If that's how they've been trained, you're not going to change their mind on the spot through your ability to argue. Uh, and in many cases, um, they can even put threats on you or call the sheriff to come in because you're being belligerent. So let us be clear on the statutes and references for each state as to the function of the public record, not the corporate record. Let's make clear the penalties for them doing their job. Let's also be clear on the um, pre preparation of documents to make sure they go on the public record. And if when we have all of that prepared and they dishonour it, then absolutely let's review and see what happens. So thank you for the feedback on that. Look, I'll go to uh, guest 13. Guest 13, can you hear us? Yes, hello, Frank. Hi. Hi, this is Roberto from Canada. Hello, Roberto. And, uh, hi, and I uh, just um, wanted to further touch on the, uh, it seems to be the theme tonight, on the uh, general executor role. Yep. And, um, well, I'm faced with a hearing on Tuesday um, for my brother, so it was actually perfect time of you mentioning the fact that I could go as administrator for him. Yep. And um, basically, I just wanted to get your thoughts on this particular matter, if you could, if you'd be so kind. Um, basically, it's, it's a motion hearing um, to try to compel us to attend a notice of examination, and they, they had gained a default judgment against my brother. Um, that was entered against him for failure to respond um, to a statement of claim. Right. And um, actually, the whole call tonight is basically a theme of what we've been going through. Um, we yep. did answer through the notary, but not on the public record, only privately. Yep. And so they yep. proceeded to get a default judgment through the courts. And um, yep. Yep. so they have now before they had asked us to attend a notice of examination where they ask you to bring your assets or whatever after this default judgment was obtained and we basically, we rejected the offer. Um, just sit back again through the notary, no contract, um, basically treating the lawyers as a third party interlopers. And so now they're trying to compel us, this motion is to ask the judge to compel us to attend um, right. notice of examination. So I was just wondering if, um, we proceeded to um, attend or um, enter documentation beforehand on, through the county recorder in the role of general executor. Um, would you suggest that first um, to make a motion to vacate that the um, default judgment, or just go directly to the general executor route? 
Okay, um, good question. In, in all cases um, where you are midstream in, in matters, it, it obviously makes it difficult because if you introduce... Getting on the public record that there is a... Will, so what, what needs to get on the public record? On the public record, there needs to be the fact that there is a will to the estate. Yes? Mm-hmm. And and you understand the importance of that, yes? Yes, I do. Okay. And the second is that, that there has been an appointment to the Office of General Executor, right? Mm-hmm. Those two things are on the record. That is earth-shattering to them. That is absolutely earth-shattering to them because now you're introducing the Queen or the King. I have to say Queen because the Queen's more powerful than the King on the on a chessboard, but you're introducing the most powerful piece on the chessboard has now appeared, yeah? Yes. And they can, they can claim to be the, uh, the, the knight, they can claim to be the, the rook, they can claim to be all these different um, pieces, but the general executor is the one that controls everything, right? Yes. So I would suggest to you that if those two pieces are on, uh, 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 on the record, and you've got that on the record made clear, then um, yes. either you lost me or we lost you. Well, can you hear me, Frank? 